Grinch was about to push the thing over the side of the cliff. Keep going, one more shove. And before he could, he heard a sound rising over the snow. It started low, then it started to grow. But the sound wasn't sad. Why, this sound sounded merry. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presence at all. I don't understand, Max. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came somehow or don't other. They know what I've done? It came just the same. It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. As he watched the small girl, he thought he might melt if he did what she did. He puzzled he for a while until his puzzler was sore. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, needs a little and bit the more. And sound swelled, reaching up to the skies. And the Grinch heard with his heart, and it tripled in size. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. <gasps> what? Oh no! The sleigh! And the presents! They're gonna be destroyed! Yeah! It's okay, Max. I got it. Don't, don't worry. I, I, I got, got the it. sleigh and the gifts here. It's all right, Max. I got it. Oh, oh no. No, don't break. I'm going to fall. Ah. Ah. Max! Ah. Artie, he saved me. Right when that happened. Should help them out right now as the true meaning of Christmas came through. And the Grinch found the strength of ten Grinches plus two. Uh, Barney? You came back and you saved you me. Back. Thank you.